Alright YouTube, I'm out here today in the very cold March wind to uh, get the battery put back in the 140. I took it out a couple weeks ago. We had one that was, uh, I believe the punch date on it was March of, or May rather, of 2009. So I guess it was about time for it to die. It had finally killed over. Uh, while I was messing around with all those stuff going on, my dad came in and cleaned a lot of this mess out in here. Not all of it. Uh, I did take the battery cable completely off. It was um, a mess. Broke the bolt in the clamp. So we've got that here too. We're going to get this all put back in here in a little while. There's my cable. Thread that back in. Give a new bolt in and put a little more gas in her and see if she'll fire up. Even though it, like, it is cold, it's about 44 degrees, the wind's howling out here. Uh, pretty rough kind of day to, to do all this. Alright, so we got her hooked back up. It's real simple from this side. The only aggravating thing you have to do is this uh, linkage to the cut touch control on this side. You do have to pull that pin out and get it out of the way so you can get to this battery. To this side of it. it's just... Uh, has two bolts on the bottom and one that you can get to by the battery that goes in right there well I got her all hooked back up but and it's been trying to give trouble anyway but now I've got this going on uh, it was bad for sticking and not releasing when she started but now it appears she doesn't want to engage well at least I know the battery is good I guess next thing will be to take this starter off uh, see if maybe we can get that drive to unstick. Alright, so I've asked her nicely, maybe, maybe she'll behave. Let's see what she's going to do here. Always make sure, always make sure she's out of gear.